guys welcome back to my channel how you doing so today as you guys can see by the title today's video is going to be about lemon my pac-man frog i'm sure you guys are mostly really familiar with her if you guys follow me on my instagram i asked you guys if you guys wanted me to tell the story of a recent emergency tank clean i had to do for lemon and i got an overwhelming response on instagram you guys wanted me to tell you the story so here we are this is the story brace yourselves it's kind of gross so as you guys can probably see by the title, you probably have an idea of how this story is going to go. Basically, the other night I was caught way off guard. There was something disgusting in Lemon's tank, and no, it was not the little fruit flies like last time. It was actually something much worse in my opinion because it's just grosser, grosser, more gross, whatever. And it was very upsetting. So that's the story I'm gonna be telling you guys right now. If you guys enjoy this story, feel free to subscribe down below and also hit the notification bell. Also, all of this happened about four days ago, so I'm gonna be telling you guys the entire story, but I also filmed quite a bit of it after I calmed down and I was cleaning her tank out so I will put in those clips as well as we go along so it all started out I had been home for I believe one or two days at this point from pet fest you guys know I was gone for four days last week and I was gone for pet fest I was not home but I did have a pet sitter here who was taking care of all of my animals and he always does such a great job love him but at this point I had been home for about a day or two and I was just doing my normal water changes where I basically go around either at the beginning or the end of the day at this point for lemon it was the end of the day since she does kind of come out to feed at night so while I was also doing all of this I was also on Skype with some of my friends you guys probably are familiar with Emma Sampson and Tori from Pug Pibble Hedgy I'll put their screen names on the screen so I was on Skype with them sometimes we'll Skype late at night we may Skype for several hours so a lot of times while we're on Skype we'll be cleaning our enclosures or maybe we'll be feeding some animals or we're definitely talking about them. So I go to clean out Lemon's water and also feed her and this is where it happens. This is where it all goes downhill. And I look over into her water dish and oh my god it is disgusting i see something moving so of course i go in to take a closer look and i'm just going to be honest with y'all it was like worms i don't even know little larvae type worms and i'm sure as you guys know how i react to bugs i hate bugs so much and i'm not talking about cute little tarantulas or anything like that i'm talking about like pest bugs like gnats and flies and fleas and ticks and crap I just hate it. I hate it. It makes me sick. It makes me want to cry. It's disgusting. It was disgusting. I was so upset. Literally, you guys know I just hate bugs so much. Anything like that. I just hate it. Of course, I'm immediately like, oh my God, is lemon sick? Oh my God, has she eaten one? Oh my gosh, what is the deal? Of course, immediately I start freaking out on Skype and I'm telling them, I'm like, guys, what is this? And I'm like, help me, please help me figure out what these are. Is lemon okay? Because my friends are absolutely amazing and I love them. They have Help me they immediately like started researching and they told me to send them some pictures of these little like worm larvae type thing and basically we narrowed down that it was basically larvae or babies of some sort of a moth probably just a moth that had come in from outside and basically laid its little eggs or larvae in lemon's water how it got in there i have no idea honestly at this point it's irrelevant because it happened they were in her water luckily i didn't see them anywhere else and i did do some research and they can only survive in the water so like if they were out of the water they wouldn't have lived or whatever so that was a relief also lemon never gets in her water dish i only have it in there for like if she feels like it but she never does she never gets in there but i do clean it out every other night so of course immediately i take lemon's water bowl into the bathroom and i'm trying to show my friends on skype i'm sending them pictures i'll show you guys the pictures in the video since i'm sure you're so curious this is the only actual footage of the worms that i got because i was i think i was just in shock i was like i'm about to cry I'm about to cry. It's so disgusting. And Tori's like, please don't cry <laughs> because we were on Skype and we're just trying to figure out what these worms were. But I was like about to cry and also throw up. So basically I'm sitting in my bathroom floor having all out panic attack, like literally begging Emma and Tori to figure out what these are and tell me if lemon is dying and if I need to find a frog vet like immediately. It was a mess. I was really upset. I almost vomited, but I got the worms out of her enclosure. So of course, basically Tori and Emma were really helpful. They told me, okay, take the water out. Make sure you don't see any in her enclosure. They were super tiny. So like it would have been hard anyway, but luckily Google said that even if they did touch her or she were to eat one or whatever, it wouldn't kill her. It's fine. But we obviously don't want that to happen, so we're gonna have to do a full tank clean. I knew that was coming. I knew I was gonna have to do that. Every time something goes wrong with lemon's bedding, it is so moist in there that it is just prone to it. That's how you know it is with moist eco-earth type tanks. 
I know this is always a reality, but it doesn't mean it doesn't suck. So of course, because this was literally like midnight, 1 a.m., I don't even know, it was really, really late. Patrick was asleep, so he wasn't gonna be able to help me. So of course, the first thing the next morning, we immediately got Lemon out and we went and cleaned her tank and I have all of that footage for you guys. I always keep an extra bag of this in the house, always. Because I always get bombarded with bugs and I always need to clean tanks randomly. I'm not doing as thick of a layer this time as I did last time because if it gets infested again, like I'll have to throw it all out. So I'm just gonna like put a medium layer and leave it and then hope that they don't come back and then I can add more later. for helping me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put her plants back in here, which I cleaned off really good, but I'm not putting her water dish back in here until um, I have a chance to run it through the dishwasher really good because of the worms. That apparently was the issue is the water dish. They weren't anywhere else, but I'm cleaning it out just in case because, well, I'm just disgusted. So it's what I do when I find things anywhere. And then we can put her back in here. Good girl. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm wearing my amphibian and reptile safe gloves, latex free, BPA free. I know, baby. There you go. Now your house is clean. Hopefully, we are worm free. <laughs> You're getting a close up. <laughs> Hopefully, there's no more issues with this tank. Oh my gosh. By the way, the worms are non harmful. I'm sure if I filmed this in a full video, I mentioned that in the intro, but they were just larvae of probably like a bug or a moth or something. They weren't parasites or anything like that, but still. All right, she'll dig in and get comfortable. But we are done. So we got Lemon's tank completely clean, completely larvae or mini little worm free. It was completely clean. I was really grateful. Luckily, I had a whole bag of EcoWorth that I could just put in there because I always keep some on hand for emergencies like this. So luckily, I took care of it and it was all clean. Thank you to Patrick for helping me because her tank is really heavy and so he carried it outside and helped me dump it and everything. So I really appreciate that. But we did get it all cleaned out and now it has been about three days since that happened and I have seen no more bugs, no larvae no worms, no flying gnats, nothing. Thank goodness because I hate bugs so, so, so much. But after we did all the research on the little larvae worms, we did find that they are not toxic to lemon or anything like that. So obviously it's not a big deal. It does happen. Although it makes me sick and want to throw up and also cry. But we did get it all cleaned out. Thank goodness. It's all taken care of. She is fine. Everyone on Instagram was really worried. They were like, what happened to her? And I was like, she's fine. Like animals are tougher than we give them credit for, especially with things like fruit flies or larvae from a moth or something like that. They're pretty tough, which is great, but I'm not. I'm not that tough. I wanna throw up and cry when I see bugs in my animals' enclosures. But yes, we got it all cleaned out. Lemon is good. Her tank is fully set up and she is doing really well. But yes, that is the truth of it, guys. Things like this happen. Sometimes bugs and larvae and worms and things, they get into your enclosures. You can't help it. It is unfortunate, but just stay vigilant. Always check your animals' enclosures daily. That's how I discovered them. Make sure you're taking really, really close care of your animals, guys. And I really hope that you don't have horrible luck with bugs in your Pac-Man frog tank like I have. So yeah, that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to subscribe down below and also hit the notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Also, Lemon appreciates it. I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind. Bye.